All right, welcome back to my channel, Breaking Bread. I'm my man right here. We actually work together at Cheney University, coaching together. He got this uh, networking event, actually gonna post up some videos, live stuff. He's been doing um, actually Zoom meetings, uh, round tables every Wednesday from 5.30, 6.30. Awesome discussion. Just basically empowering us folks, uh, building up our you know, business, uh, network with other business owners and see what they can do uh, in the community. Just all about giving back. But, you know, I want my man to introduce himself. <laughs> basically, he's trying to bring this thing to another level. And it's honestly just about giving back to the community, building up our black and brown people and just empowering us as we supposed to be empowered. So go ahead, man. Oh, man I yourself, appreciate man. you, Coach. I appreciate it. Hey, my name's Brian Walls. I'm a financial advisor. And with BKW Financial, I do everything from life source to investments, but most importantly, it is all about uplifting. Yes. And it's all about really connecting to what's our why, what are we here for, yeah. and how are we going to lift everybody up as a community. So yeah. come through. You just got to look me up, Brian K. Wallace, and find me. And yes. you know what? Can I get my number real quick? Uh, drop right, it. Man. I'm going to put it in here in chat. Yes. All right. That's what's up, man. But, hey, everybody call me straight up. 267-975-4911. It's 267-975-4911. One, one. Look forward to working with everybody. Yes, and I'll put his uh, uh, his contact in there, his email, so you get with him. If you don't know anything and haven't learned anything about, you know, I don't even want to just call it life insurance. I just want to call it financial uh, wellness, financial freedom, just trying to just get your, your head on right about finance. This is the guy because he actually taught me some things that I didn't even know about finance and how to, you know, uh, the life insurance and stuff packages work. So he's the, he's the man. Appreciate that. Absolutely, man. Appreciate you, man. All right. This girl right here. This girl right here. And I want to take a second and just give her flowers that are because it's important to say thank you. And not just say thank you, but also give a gift. Thank you, sir. Because she is not only, she adopted my wife as her own daughter, <laughs> but I kid you not, I'm not gonna get into it because I am a big sensei, quiet as kept. But when I first started here, April 30th is my third year anniversary here at Northwestern Mutual. Mm -hmm. all right. Why I wanted to have all y'all here is because when I first met you and when I first did the backyard, yes. I was working on my truck. Okay. Mm. Wow. I didn't have an office to come to. Mm. Okay. I had my GMC Terrain. And she <laughs> took it upon herself to ask me to talk to everybody in her backyard mm. about life insurance. Mm. So I'm always forever grateful. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'm also always forever grateful to what this is all about. Mm -hmm. Because when we first started, and Naomi, and Amelia just left. She said, I got left. <laughs> so but Naomi was one of the first that jumped onto the Zoom calls. And mm -hmm. What was the main thing in the pandemic? Let's just survive it <laughs> and get through it. But it's just so amazing because I'm going to take a second and say, Naomi is somebody that I want us to celebrate. There are some people I really want us to celebrate that she has made a shift. One Stop Black Shop is a company that really does promote black businesses, women-owned businesses in not just this neighborhood, not just this area, throughout the country. All right. So to Naomi, I say thank yes. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I got you. Thank you. The next is I.J. Benson. I.J. is somebody who had been a pandemic. We first met. I.J., I'm just going to say, you know what I'm about to say. <laughs> she didn't know. She didn't know. But she started coming to the round table and she got accountability. <laughs> she got accountability. And it was so important because now she has her own business, mobile, yes. nail salon. Yes. It's phenomenal to see her grow and keep growing. And that's exactly it. You know, I love some books. <laughs> so one very first time we talked, I said, you know what you need to read is 50 Cent's Hustle Harder, Hustle Smart. And listen to that and read it and everything else. How often do you listen to it? I swear it's been 20 times. I would drop the car and just play it back. And there you go. There you go does not exist without you. This round table, we are all about support, we are all about thriving, we are all about uplifting, and we will continue to be it, be it as professionals, 
fear as human beings. And I just wanted to say thank you to every single one of you. This is going to become more of a, I don't know if we're going to be in a bed hall next year or if we're just going to be in a picnic. I feel like I'm more of a picnic person. I don't know if I'm a picnic. <laughs> but, but please interact, talk to one another. Today is all about networking. Yes. Make sure you get a manicure. Make I sure you get try. certified. That's what you're doing in here. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Make sure you check out Edgeware, but not just that. I got Almitra, who you may not know Almitra, but I'm telling you, you need to know Almitra. If you're a business owner, you need to talk to this woman. I'm working with her. This isn't something that I say. Please understand, I do not talk about something if I don't do it myself. That's right. Everything I am, I do myself. I'm working with her now myself. My wife is working with her. Actually, my wife probably be here in about an hour. That is the reason for everything I do. It comes to her, Yes. and it comes to y'all. So please understand mm -hmm. that this, I stand here, we stand here. I got my man Hanuel standing here mm -hmm. because of everybody in here and all those that are coming or who cannot be here, we're here as one team. Yes. And even people that are new, no, I'm so excited, Abby, Lania, I'm so excited that you two are able to make it here. Yes. Because I'm gonna tell you something, we gotta, we got, I'm gonna give you a shout out. We got, we got, <laughs> If you haven't seen the trailer yet, there's a trailer, award-winning trailer. All right. Wow. It's yes. about to be a red carpet. Yes. 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 I told you I wanted to shout you out. <laughs> Dang right. Dang right. She keeps talking about me trying to be professional. I said, why? <laughs> and Abby awesome. just has this amazing love language board game. Thank you. That really is excited. Um, my assistant, Mitchell, who you probably have all heard, the reason why you don't meet him is because he's in Winston-Salem today. So, but we've all said, he and I have said, look, we're, we want to sit there and have all of our newlyweds start to start reaching out, okay? Because that's important. But take the next couple, take the next hour. We got the space for 2.30, so I gotta go. <laughs> we ain't gotta go home, but you gotta get in <laughs> But interact, talk to one another, work with one another. Make sure that there is something, there is a business each and every one of us is a part of, or we may know somebody. And it's important that we do work with one another, uplift one another, keep each other accountable because we're the ones that are going to really move our communities to where we want it to be. That's right. right. Okay? So, hey, enjoy. Please eat everything. I'm not taking anything home. <laughs> 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 Everyone. Right. How y'all doing? Right. Okay, listen, really quick, like you heard me say, I do have a prior engagement today. I have my awesome team back there. Yes. Stand up real quick. Don't just wave. I'll just let her wave. That's yes. billion dollar B, B Ryan. Yes. And this is my mini me, yes. Kiana Tankersley. Yes. Um, we are here to just, you know, represent you guys because what's happening is there's a shift in banking right okay. now. Okay. They have found a way and are exercising and executing to get rid of the middle class. Yes, they, are. they have done it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what they've done is created a new credit score. Mm -hmm. So that means that if you have any collections, charge-offs, anything like that, they're getting ready to dump you into this file that been been around. It's been around. Don't ever think they just created it. It's yep. been around and been trying to figure out how to do it. Okay. If you heard talks about the president getting rid of the credit score, did you hear about that? Mm -hmm. This is the file I'm talking about. So what's gonna happen is they're gonna dump you all into this file and it's gonna be harder for you to get anything. Mm -hmm. On top of that, they're raising the rates of what? Everything. Loans, everything. So for those that are at the 700 Club and above, you're safe. If you're not safe, you need to scan that monitor back there and talk to me individually, especially as business owners because they're asking for your stuff. Mm -hmm. They want your house, your blood type, and your kids now. Mm -hmm. Anybody in here love God? Yes. Y'all yes. yes. say you love God, right? Yes. Yes. The problem is, is that we missed it because those principles that God has put in his Bible, for those that read it, are the very same principles they're exercising with credit. Mm -hmm. And it's dangerous now because we are the ones that say we love God, but you don't know the tools he's giving you to be able to be what? 
financially free. How many believe debt freedom is the key? Put your hands down. If you are feeling like you should be debt free, you you don't even understand what's happening with credit. For those that say that God has forgiven you of something, that means you had a debt. Debt and credit is in the Bible. Mm-hmm. But what they've done now is said, if you're debt free, you don't have a record, which means they can't tell you how much you should pay based on your efforts, even if you're cash rich. So if you have no file, they get to charge you 400% in interest. Mm. Y'all quiet. What's mm. happening? Mm. For those that have businesses, if you have a business. They're gonna ask you for your social, right? For every time you want a credit card, loan, all that good stuff. You're looking at me today because you can actually establish not one, but up to 99 credit profiles outside of you because you all have created a business in your image. Your businesses are your children. You gotta stop letting them suck the life out of you as the parent. But we didn't know that, why? Because they did a great job in making sure we didn't. In fact, everybody's watching YouTube. There were millions of black folk, my demographic, your demographic, that watched it. You heard what they said on YouTube. Get a credit card, do this, do that. Guess what's happening? They have now changed all the underwriting because we got it, or at least more of us. And I shouldn't say just white folk. It's the people with money. They found a way to get rid of us, annihilate us on paper. So if you're not on paper, you don't exist. If you want a loan, you're going to pay for everything and your children's going to pay for it too. Dave Ramsey, your Susie Ormans were planted. I'm sorry, I'm going to say it. If you're recording this, <laughs> make sure you're responsible about recording what I'm saying because they wouldn't like me. Make, make sure you get a compliant. Also, make sure, <laughs> yes, make sure you understand when people are in power, they will put people in places to make sure you look at to them as the power that speaks of all things. The problem with debt freedom is that you will never ever be debt free because you're gonna pay more for everything. So my, my situation right now is that we're spearheading. We're gonna be the biggest arrow in Philadelphia right now to make sure you guys get funding with the resources that we have that doesn't allow you to pull your personal credit report. There's a bank right now that is allowing us to finance 10 grand with no statement, no documents, no nothing. It's a soft credit pool. How many of you have heard of that? Okay, anything above 10 grand, you will have to show a little something to make sure they can get their money back. But the fact is, it's giving you a chance to build on business. If you get a paycheck, they will look at that paycheck and say, "We'll, we'll give them a chance. If you are a person that's cash rich and you're getting the money in, they'll look at that too. But you gotta make a move. If y'all don't make a move, guess what? June, July, they're changing the score. So if you're not safe, please, please, this is my cry out to you guys. I wear green here for the oxymoron that if you look at me, you don't have to know my name. You don't have to know what I do. Just know that this means money. And I said to someone, was it you? You. <laughs> I said that everybody talks about green, get this paper. I mean, y'all hear that. Yeah. Even the rappers, are, they're like preaching to us. Get the paper, they got the money to their face. The fact is, is, if you light it on fire, it's no longer there. It means nothing. What means it, the white paper means something. Because if you can go into the bank and they see your white paper, now they can do something. That's why they won't pay you any mind when you bring green to the table and say, I make 10,000 because it's a promissory note. It doesn't matter what it is. Mm -hmm. It's not white paper. So let us help you get your white paper. You can create a new credit profile and get an A1 credit score in 90 days. I promise you, we're doing it all day. Mm -hmm. We're doing it all day, Mm -hmm. okay? I didn't get home until 4 a.m. I've been in three different states in the last two weeks. I'm sleepy, I'm tired, but I made sure I got here because he had me, for those that were on that call, I was in Vegas. Mm -hmm. And they talked about, I was in the room with FICO. Mm -hmm. I was in the room with Equifax. Mm -hmm. I was in the room with CFPB. Mm -hmm. And they're not playing. Mm -hmm. They're not playing. They don't like those folks that are on YouTube. They hate them. Mm -hmm. So much so that if you thought you could build a business credit profile just on gas cards, I mean, you know that. 
<laughs> Guess what? You could. Yeah. You could. After the pandemic, they said shut it down. Yeah. We want five hundred dollars. You have to have a CDL license. We want your credit score. Oh, and you have a business credit score too. It has to be an eight. If you think it's going to get worse, I'm here to tell you it will. So please, please don't let the green hair fool you. Don't get distracted. Mm -hmm. Just make sure you use that code bridge code. Sure Just got to go. Everyone, you should be scanning this. Can I do that? Can I have a question? Scan it. So this is, yeah. for those who don't know the round table, this is what we talk about. Yes, and I'm going to get out of here. I know you do. That's why I was like. <laughs> but I appreciate all of you for being here at the round table. Please make sure you know. The conversation can be had privately, intimately. And if you feel like, well, my credit is shot, guess what? You still can get money. Mr. President, who? Who knows? All right. So, I'm, like I said, I'm at this networking event. And I'm actually about to introduce a sister that she has a mobile. Uh, she's a nail technician. And she just go around. She actually just got done to my nail right now. And we had a networking event. So this thing is lit, it's off the hook. You know, people just doing their thing, just trying to promote themselves. Once again, it's a black and brown type thing. But honestly, it doesn't really matter. If you're trying to get your nails done, she got you. My girl, IJ, she's gonna introduce herself and you know, tell her about her business and how long she's been in business. Hi, I'm IJ, I'm a licensed nail technician. Um, Tip Me Pretty is my business that I started maybe about a year ago. Um, coming into the new year, I definitely had um, a lot of things going on, so I finally got my license, and now we are definitely starting our business. And eventually we'll have a truck. Um, you can always come and give me a call. My Instagram is Tiffany Pretty. And, and you could just oh. tell or show them your work. Yeah, so we're just doing spa manicures, you know, for the event space. I didn't want to do too much with the alcohol and all of that and the smells. So we just did basic manicures today and we'll just do a few. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, here we go. Another episode, you know, still breaking bread. Actually up in the networking event. I got two lovely sisters actually discussing their business right now. You know, just watch the magic at work, man. Just watch the magic at work, man. This is how our people should be all the time. Just know how to talk to each other on a professional level and just know how to just network with each other. Speak up a little bit. Um, black women and black women are going to get each other. So I feel like with this, it's...